Hi there. This video is a helpful guide taking you through how to make a, an application using the TRAC system. Here at Leeds & York Partnership NHS Foundation Trust, we use the TRAC system for all of our vacancies. If you found an advert for one of our jobs on NHS Jobs or Indeed or any other job platform, you will automatically be directed to TRAC when you click Apply. Once you've found a job you're interested in, you'll also be able to see the location, the salary, the contract type and the working pattern to help decide if it's right for you. Our recruitment profiles, which are on the vacancies, include lots of useful information to help you decide if it's the right job for you and are available on all of our job vacancies to download. The profile includes number of hours per week, location, type of person we're looking for, including your values and behaviours, minimum requirements such as qualifications and experience, and also the range of duties and the job description. This is a really important document and you will need it to complete the supporting statement section of the track application form. We also have a lot of great guidance to support you with your application and beyond to hopefully an interview and this again is found on the vacancy advert. There's the recruitment profile I've just mentioned, a benefits document outlining all the great benefits of working for the trust and the recruitment brochure which includes reasonable adjustment information, frequently asked questions and the recruitment process flow chart. Remember to open and save copies of all these documents. They won't be available once the advert has closed and you'll want to look at them again as you complete your application and if you're invited to interview. To complete your online application, you'll need an account on our recruitment system track, your personal details, your qualifications and your employment history. If you already have an account on track, you can simply log in. If you've not used the system before, to set up a new account, please register by following the on-screen instructions where you can create an account. Once logged in, the system will take you to the vacancy that you want to apply for. Click the green open button on the left. To start, we'll ask for your personal details, including your immigration status. At the bottom of the screen, please tick the box to say you've read and agreed to our privacy statement, which simply describes how we use your data in our recruitment process. And a full explanation of this can be found in the recruitment brochure. Please do note at this time, the trust can only provide sponsorship to work in the UK for professional registrants, such as nurses, allied health professionals, medics, psychological professionals and pharmacists. We do also sponsor existing healthcare support worker colleagues in our specialised supported living service only. Once your immigration section is complete, you will start the rest of the application form. If you have used TRAC before to apply for a role at Leeds & York or another trust that uses TRAC, then you can select to use a previous application to autofill parts of your application. If you're new to using TRAC, then select Use Blank Form to start a fresh application. Click Start in the bottom right to begin with your personal details. There are three sections to the personal details. Click the blue open button to complete each section. Here you can complete the information asked, your name, home address, email and telephone number. We'll use this information to contact you or provide updates about your application during the recruitment process. Then either click save and come back to the form later or say or save and next and you'll be moved on to the next section of the form. Check the employment types you would like and you can select more than one and any that apply. Click save to save and come back later or click save and next to move on. In the relationships box, here we ask if you have any relationship with an existing colleague of Leeds and York Partnership Foundation Trust. If you don't have any relationships, just press none and save next. The criminal conviction section needs to be completed for the section of the form to be finalised. Once you have done this, click save. You have now completed the personal details section. You need to click mark section as complete. If at any time you want to go back and edit the section, then you can.
Next up is your applications question section. As before, you will have many sections to complete. You don't have to do these in order. You can click open on any section in any order. If you start at the top, the system will automatically take you through them all in order anyway. Once you've started to enter inform information into the subsections, you will see that they change to green and OK, which means completed. You can always go back in and edit these sections if you want to. We'll ask about your qualifications. Please list all your qualifications you already have and those you're currently taking. Remember to include your grades or your expected results. If you are already a colleague of the NHS, please enter this information. If you are not, leave it blank, click save and come back later or save and next to move on. The employment section. In the next section, we'll ask about your employment history. Start by adding your first employer and end with your present or most recent job. Always give a summary of what you did in each role. Tell us about training programmes, volunteering, youth awards and school activities too. If you need to add more, click the add another button and keep doing so until you've completed all your employment history. Then save and next. Gaps in your employment are important to complete. Hiring managers will want to know why there are any gaps in employment. This could be for childcare, caring for a friend or family member, or taking leave in employment due to your health or even traveling. Once you've completed this section, either click save and return later or save it next to move on. The supporting information section is the most crucial um, section to complete well in your NHS application. It's your chance to really sell yourself as a suitable applicant and get the invitation to interview. You have up to 1500 words for this section to persuade and influence the recruiting manager that you could do the job and that you deserve an interview. So how do you do this? By tailoring your application, so by matching your skills, your knowledge and experience to the job requirements in the recruitment profile. You need to connect your current and past work experience to the requirements of the role you're applying for. This means you can't just cut and paste any old thing. You need to make it specific to the job you're applying for. In the employment history section of your application, you will have already listed your previous jobs and the main duties and responsibilities for each. This will have given you some ability to link your skill set with the job in question by one job at a time. However, the supporting information section of your application is where you can sell yourself and really stand out from the crowd. You have the freedom to organise this section how you want. So you can do this by grouping your skills and work experience into broader themes and strengths that match the job you're applying for. You can use bullet points and subheadings. Long paragraphs and essays are not so good. Make it as easy as possible for the recruiters to find the information you need and want them to see. The critical thing to do here is to pay close attention to the requirements of the role you're applying for and give good examples of your achievements for each. Remember that now with NHS jobs, the shortlisting criteria are included in the advert. Recruiters will be scoring your application against these criteria, so make sure you cover them. And what makes a good example? A helpful framework to use here is the STAR example. STAR stands for situational task. So what was the context and what were you, were you being asked to do? Action, what you did to achieve this. And the result, what was the outcome or result? E.g. money or time saved, better customer service, patient care, staff morale, etc. In a good STAR example, you'll address all three elements concisely by writing about your previous experience. That's the hard parts of the application complete. We have a couple of other important questions to ask, so simply choose the category relevant to you and click Save and Next. Once all the sections of the form are complete, they should all be green. If like this, they are not, and you have a red section that you can see on the screen, that means you have missed something. Please click edit on this section and finish off the bits that you have missed. You can, of course, use the time to go through all the other sections and check you for everything you can in. Check your spelling and your grammar and make sure it reads well and you're happy with it. If you try and mark the section as complete without the boxes all being green, you will get an error message, which is good because it means you can't submit an incomplete application.
Next, we'll ask for at least two references. References help to show us you have the knowledge, skills and qualities needed for the job. The information you provide must cover the last three years of your employment history. If you do not have three years of employment history, please provide suitable education or character references, such as a teacher, a lecturer, your doctor, a lawyer, a police officer or even an MP. You must not use family members or friends though. Please make sure your referees have agreed to provide a reference as you'll need to give us their email and phone number. Your referees must include your current or most recent employer and please identify the person in your organisation who is authorised to confirm your employment and your application details. This is normally your, di your direct line manager. The second referee should be someone who has close knowledge of your skills and abilities. Please note we will not contact your referees without your permission to do so. As with the employment history, if you need to add another reference, please click add another when you are done and then mark the section as complete. Equal opportunity information. We are committed to recruiting, retaining and developing a diverse workforce. Diversity and quality of opportunity are essential in our recruitment process. And in this equal opportunity section, we'll ask questions about you. Some are mandatory, but please choose the options that best describe you. Here at Leeds and York, we operate a guaranteed interview scheme. And if you have a disability or are a member of the armed forces community and meet the essential criteria outlined in the person specification, you'll be guaranteed an interview. Once you've completed the quality and diversity section, click save and next. To complete your application, please read and agree to the candidate declaration. You can also review your application before submitting it. If anything is missing on your form, you will get the prompt telling you to fix it before it can be submitted. As long as everything is OK, you will then get a message that you must mark it all as complete and move on to submit. That's it, you're all done. You'll have a green banner at the top of your screen showing you that you have submitted your application with an application history as well for you to refer to. Your application can be edited up until midnight of the closing date should you want to add any further information. Good luck with your application and if you need any further support, if you need the application form in an alternative um, context or format, please do contact the recruitment team on the telephone number on the screen. Thanks ever so much for watching and hopefully I'll get to meet you soon.